We're not feeding people, we're poisoning them. I don't know why people are getting awards for this. Because whatever they did was wrong. This video is brought to you by God Sounds. If you're an author, you want to get your book into audiobook format, click the link below and learn more about God Sounds. God Sounds or Faith is Heard. All right, I think we're all in for a surprise right now. I haven't watched these clips yet, so I'm going to react in real time as I watch them for the first time. Let's listen to these clips and talk about it. When I was a kid, a typical pediatrician would see one case of diabetes in his entire career juvenile diabetes. Today, one out of every three kids who walks through his door has either pre-diabetic pre -diabetic or, or diabetic. Okay, so, and nobody's saying, why is this happening? And we know why it's happening. It's high fructose corn syrup, and it's, you know, glyphosate, and, and neonicotinoids, and atrazine, and all the other crap that is in our food. We're not feeding people, we're poisoning them. There's a study that I read this week that showed that girls who eat processed food are more, are 1,400% more likely to engage in violence than girls who do not. Oh, it, you know, this is a mental health issue, the depression, the anxiety, all of this stuff, the autoimmune diseases that our kids are now ubiquitous in that generate. Kids are not supposed to be sick like that. They're not supposed to be complaining of brain fog. They're not supposed to be on chronic, on Adderall and, and albuterol inhalers and, you know, insulin and all this other stuff. That That is not what children are supposed to look like. And they don't look like that anywhere else in the world. Only here. We have the highest chronic disease rate on earth, and we're being mass poisoned by our food. <clears throat> During COVID, we had 16% of the COVID deaths in the United States of America. We only have 4.2% of the world's population. We had the worst record of any country on earth. I don't know why people are getting awards for this. Because whatever they did was wrong. But regardless, let's talk about this. Why is it that our children are having ADD, ADHD? Why is it that our children are obese? Why is it that there is such a massive amount of disease in our country? I'll tell you something, I'm not giving my children processed food. Very rarely will we go out and we'll do certain things, maybe we'll get them some chicken tenders or something like that, very rarely. But when you're in our house and you see what we eat, we've learned that this stuff is poor. We've learned that this stuff is killing people. So we're not giving it to our children. You shouldn't either. You should wake up and really listen to what this guy is saying. Why is it that so long ago a diabetic patient was very rare and now it's like one in three children? That is crazy. You look at the food and that's why. You're giving them poison. You're giving them the stuff that's killing your children. The CDC says, well, the reason it's not our fault, it wasn't mismanagement of COVID, it's because we have the sickest people on earth in this country. The fattest people on earth, the sickest people on earth are here. This is what CDC says. The average person who died from COVID had 3.8 chronic diseases. So they had diabetes, they had obesity, they had asthma, and they had one other thing, right? No, and no, that's what killed them. It was the chronic disease that took them to the top of the cliff and put them over the side and, uh, you know, and COVID just stepped on their fingers you know, and drop them. Oh, you know, that's what we need to start recognizing. And that's coming for food. And that's part of Bill Gates's plan, you know, to have us eating, you know, insects and chemical food. That's what he did to Africa with the green revolution that, you know, it has put 30 million extra people into food insecurity and we don't need them to do it here. But whatever, this is still amazing. This is still really good. And it's so clear, y'all. Like when you think about it, like what are you made of? Like we are literally living off of the food that we put into our bodies. If we put poison in our bodies, we are going to poison our bodies. I love what Dr. Josh Ack says, food is medicine. Look, if you're sick, I, look, I don't, I don't take medication, thank you Lord, but what I do is if I start feeling sick, I'll take some food-based vitamin C, camu camu powder, I'll just take that. If I start feeling a certain way, I'll change my food. I'll change to another thing, I might get more rest. But we've been indoctrinated that if you feel sick, go get this, and then this actually doesn't even help you. God gave us food, God gave us remedies, right? All these things we see, he's given us the ability to pray, to focus on him. Man, I'll tell you, sometimes I feel sick and I'll start praying to God, I'll start turning my attention to him, and that thing will leave, right? Because there are so many
many options we have, but here, here's the thing. Whether you're Christian or not, you should eat good food. You should spend the extra money. And this is something my wife and I, we went to Whole Foods one time, and man, we had a fight because of the amount of money it costs, you know, to switch to organic food and different types of food. It's a risk, or at least it feels like a risk. But I realized this, when you make a good choice for yourself and your family, I believe God blesses it. When you make the decision to get healthier food, I believe God blesses that. And God blessed that he provided the resources and it's worked out beautifully. But when you think, oh, you know, it's too expensive and all these things, you start getting crap for you and your family. Man, you are poisoning yourself and God doesn't want you to poison yourself. He wants you to choose the right option. And here's the thing too, I eat pretty much beef, rice, and kefir. And I feel amazing. I feel completely amazing. If you haven't heard about the carnivore diet, I mean, it has worked very well for me, even though I do have things other than just meat. I have rice, I have kefir, I have kimchi, I have other things. But I'm telling you right now, as you go on this journey, let God lead you. Let him lead your body to know what to do for yourself. Listen to real scientists and doctors that actually know what they're talking about. And they're not just brainwashed into saying all these other things, all this nonsense. Eat food that you think God would want you to eat. Think about if you were off in the forest in the jungle trying to survive. Do you think you would, you, if you had the choice, you would choose some leafy greens and you would choose maybe some fruit? Yeah, I think that'd be great to have. But what if you had the option of eating a deer or a gazelle and you had the ability to cook it or even eat it raw? Imagine the difference for your body. You think you're gonna turn down some good old meat for some leafy greens? For for some grains, I'm telling you right now, guys, it's not complicated. We've been lied to in many different areas. We've been lied to by many different people, and I don't want to blame them. Maybe they're misinformed. Maybe they were brainwashed. But I know for me, my body tells me when something's wrong. My body tells me when I'm tired. My body tells me when I'm hungry. My body tells me when I need some electrolytes. My body tells me and communicates those things with me. And when I'm eating this meat, and I'm eating this rice, and I'm eating this, drinking this kefir, I feel fantastic, and I feel great. And sometimes I feel the need to eat some greens. Amen. And then I go right back to eating some meat and more meat and more meat and some eggs. But I feel great, guys. Look, this was cool. I kind of feel silly thinking that it was about Andrew Humerman. But hey, it's all right. This was amazing. I'm so glad that I watched these clips. I, I'm glad that you watched them too. And I encourage you, if you're a Christian, pray to God and say, Lord, is there anything I need to get out of my diet? Is there anything I need to remove from my plate? And I don't want to make choices that are going to jeopardize my children. I mean, can you imagine standing before God and realize that you had 40 more years to live and you're life was cut short because you made poor food choices because you ate food that tasted really good but it also killed you in the process and here's the thing that meat and rice and keeper tastes some really good stuff and your body adjusts to it and your taste buds too i can eat beef all day long it was hard in the beginning but now it feels a lot better my point is this could you imagine god looking at you and be like you know what i had 20 more years for you but because of your poor food choices your life had to be cut short come on guys let's get real let's sanctify our plates let's sanctify our our kitchens. Let's not worry, oh, it's going to cost a little bit more for some healthier food. That's a lie from the enemy. There are healthy food choices you can choose that might require you more time than going to Mickey D's, but is going to la give you a long, but is going to help keep you out of the doctor's office and help you live a longer, stronger life. The Lord bless you.